Hey everybody, it's Jordan with Modular Head Shop. Today I'm going to do a quick tech tip on thrust bearings for the Ford Modular engines. I get a lot of tech questions about uh, where does the bearing go, how is it installed. I'm going to go over all of that real quick. So what I have here is the flanged thrust bearing that goes on number 5 cap. Unless you have a 4.6 or 5.4 Windsor iron block, then you would just have a washer. If you do have a 5.4 iron block, the washer goes in the back between the cap and the crank. All right. On all the other engines, we have one thrust washer. It's got a ledge on it here so it can't spin. It's smooth on one side and slotted on the other. The slotted side always faces out, so this bearing sits in here like this. Now, the last thing you're going to do once you install the bearings is set the thrust. And what I mean by setting the thrust is getting them lined up. Okay? When you put everything together, it's just kind of luck of the draw that these are going to sit in line. There's some wiggle room between the studs and the actual bore. Okay? So, if we're too far forward, now we're only going to be wearing on the washer. If we're too far back, now we're only going to be wearing on the cap. So what we're going to do is use the thrust flange on the crankshaft to pull them together and line them up as we're torquing. That will give you proper thrust clearance. We're looking for somewhere between 7 and 12. Uh, and that will also ensure that you're not going to have any premature bearing wear from any positive pressure coming from the transmission, whether it be a clutch assembly or a torque converter. So this is how I do it. I've already torqued number one through number four all the way. I don't have the side bolts in yet. But number five is nice and loose still. So in the case that my cap was too far forward to begin with, I'm just going to knock it back a little bit. Nice little cap. Now I'm going to use my little pry bar here between the counterweight and the cap and pull this forward. We're going to change camera angles so you can actually see how much this cap is going to move. So, just a little positive pressure. Hopefully you guys saw how far that moved. Alright. And we're just going to snug this up. Now they should be in line with each other. I'm going to finish torquing them all the way. Then we'll put our magnetic base dial indicator right here on the cap and measure the travel on the crankshaft. And all we're going to do here is just read the difference. Read your high, read your low. That's all that really matters. So, come over this way, please. All I'm going to do is put positive pressure on one end, positive pressure on the other end using the counterweights and the cap. So we'll go back first. And I'm not talking pry it real hard, just give it a little bit of pressure. I'm at 98. And five. That's seven thousandths thrust clearance. That is acceptable. I would say anywhere between six and twelve, seven and twelve, somewhere around there is what we typically see. If it's lower than five, I would double check what you're doing. If uh, if you can't get it there, then you're going to have to modify something to get a little bit more thrust clearance because you do want at least five. So 
thanks for watching. Anybody has any questions, wants to see tech tips on anything else, send a comment and uh, I'll try to cover it. Thank you.